live from ABC7, this is Sports Zone. Well, hi, everybody. Hope you're having a great afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to a World Cup edition of the Sports Zone here on ABC7. You know, after yesterday's show, I got a tweet that uh, soccer royalty was sitting right next to me. Indeed, he is <laughs> Hall of Famer Paul Caligiri. Royalty. That's oh, awesome. That's a time. That's a good tweet. Whoever did that, thank you very much. And, of course, today, very special day. All the dads out there, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to my dad. Happy and Father's you. Day, Dad. I love you. And, uh, and you, too. Well, Father you. of three. Yeah, Happy thank, Father's Day, thank Paul. You. Thank you very much. Well, the French are looking for some redemption in Brazil. They were embarrassed four years ago in South Africa when Le Bill failed to get out of the group stage. The 17th ranked French are the favorite to come out of Group E as they pursue a second World Cup trophy. The French taking on Los Catracos of Honduras. Let's get to the action. France attacks early. Antoine Griezmann's header below uh, clanks off the cross more than the 24th minute. Kareem Benzema with the header of his own. It sails over the crossbar. 26 minute tempers flare. Wilson Palacio steps on Paul Bogba. Bogba retaliates with a kick. Paul, some pushing and shoving ensues, but no one really wants to fight, right? No, no one wants to fight there. It's just a ridiculous foul. I mean, Palacio already has a yellow card and he goes into that really hard. And you can see it here on the replay that he really pushes them behind the back, and it's, uh, it causes not only a penalty kick, but he gets a second yellow card and gets tossed out of the game. All right, 43rd minute now. Lebu continues to attack. Palacios knocks down Pogba in the box. The red card comes out. The penalty kick is awarded. The goalie goes one way, and Kareem Benzema in the second half now. France on the attack. Benzema did hit the post. A uh, 2-0 lead, Paul Honduras can't take advantage. No, and Benzema, they can't stop. I mean, he hits the far post. It goes what looks like be behind the line, and this is the first time they actually use the replay technology, and they call it an own goal. Honduras looking to get on the board. 68th minute, Los Cadracos with the run. Boniac Garcia gets off a shot, but not much on it. Then, Paul, the French put the game away. Yeah, and they're dominating here, and they get, keep attacking with five, six players at a time, and here's... You know, it's, it's, it's a nice deflection off his own player, and he just buries it upper V past the keeper, and just nice little blast right here. Corner of the six-yard box. Keeper has no chance. So France takes care of Honduras. 3-0 the final. And fans of Le Biel in Hollywood. And they had a lot to cheer about today. The French didn't win a match in 2010. They get a convincing win over Honduras today, and I'm sure some fine wine was tossed back in the celebration in a westbound la casa honduras welcoming fans of los catracos honduras will look for three points on friday when they take on ecuador and i'm sure at la casa honduras fans were once again there will be packed for that match group e is considered the group of life with france honduras switzerland and ecuador all with a chance to advance to the knockout round the swiss boasts the best world record at six but not getting the respect such a highly lofted ranked team quite deserves switzerland opening play against ecuador's 22nd minute a set piece for Latri, walter iovi with a beautiful delivery into the box. Enter Valencia Skies, puts a header in for a 1-0 lead. Paul, too much space for a quality player like right. Valencia. Yeah, and look at the ball. The service is right on the money. It's, a, it's drilled at about 60 miles per hour, right on top of the six. But Valencia looks like he's left over, but it's actually a little pick and roll that's going on there that makes it really difficult for a defender to mark a player like Valencia. All right, jump to the second half, 48th minute. The Swiss with a corner kick. Ricardo Rodriguez with the entry. And Amir Mamedi. Sends home the equalizer, Paul. Poor marking by Ecuador this time leads to that goal. Yeah, that's another outswinging ball, top of the six. But uh, the Swiss player is just really strong in the air. He's bigger than the Ecuadorian player and just buries it home. Now, both teams would have a chance to take the lead. The Swiss on a three on one rush. The pass to Herden. Shakiri just a bit off. And he kicks it into the side of the net. Then in the 86 minute, Ecuador with the free kick. Michael Arroyo chance to flex off the Swiss wall almost goes in Paul the game looked destined to end in the first tie of the World Cup the Swiss steal in extra time yeah an extra time the last 30 seconds of the game how could this happen they create a three-on-three -three opportunity and the actual player that 
switches the point of the attack to the service, actually scores the goal and is unmarked inside the six and gets the game winner. Switzerland picks up the three points with a 2-1 victory, and Switzerland fans were parting it up at the Chalet Edelweiss in Westchester. A packed house enjoyed the thrilling win, complete with all the bells and whistles to go along with the mimosas and glasses of beer. Meantime, El Casario and Silver Lake Ecuador fans enjoying the morning game on the patio and indoors. The result wasn't what the fans wanted, but by the looks of things, they all had a really, really good time. That's what this is all about, the World Cup, the festivities, and just enjoying the big the big thing that only comes four years and you said maybe it should come every two years yeah i like that idea every two years i mean it's a, such a great little fest and could be exciting for everyone and we're fortunate to live in the southland with all these ethnic backgrounds and cultures and all these f different fans to enjoy the world definitely Cup. the southland is a melting pot we're going to take our first time out still ahead is josie altador the key to the Yanks' success on the pitch and we'll talk to paul's 1994 world cup teammate alexi lawless he'll tell us about team usa's chances and about paul's luxurious hair that's right. Plus, was Brazil the right choice to host soccer's greatest event coming up on the Sports Zone? We are born makers. So we made a car that puts the latest technology within reach of everyone. Rebooted and reimagined to challenge your perceptions of what an American sedan can be. We all knew Chrysler 200. America's import. Things have changed. Well qualified lessees get the all new 2015 Chrysler 200 Limited for $229 a month. Anyone up for another BJ's handcrafted beer? <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a beer house blonde. I'll take a nutty brunette. A gorgeous Jeremiah Red. Bun bun. Dude, that's your wife. That was book club. I'll have a hop storm IPA. <laughs> 120 menu items, 50 craft beers, and one unbeatable attitude. BJ's, one for all. And now, with our new menu, get 30 lunch and dinner entrees for under $10. Oh, Chris, did you remember to pay the dog sitter? Oh, I knew I forgot something. I'll just do it now. Well, we're boarding. No, I'll use City Mobile. It takes two seconds. Better safe than sorry, right? Yeah, who knows if we'll even get service on the islands. What? No service? Seriously? You guys might actually have to talk. <gasps> to each other? We do it all the time. I like it. Should we? No. Bank from almost anywhere with the City Mobile app. To learn more, visit city.com slash easier banking. Switch to Time Warner Cable and get Sportsnet LA, the exclusive home of the LA Dodgers. It's the only place to watch every Dodgers game all season long. Switch to get every hit and every 643. Switch to get every walk-off and curtain call. Only Time Warner Cable brings you everything Dodgers. You can't get that on Direct TV. If you love the Dodgers, switch to Time Warner Cable and never miss a pitch. Plus, get TWC Preferred TV today and get a $300 reward card. Call 1-855-WANT-TWC and switch to Time Warner Cable now. Time Warner Cable. Enjoy better. You're watching Sports Zone from ABC7. And welcome back, everybody. In 1990, the U.S. made their first World Cup appearance in 40 years, thanks in part to Paul Caligiuri. That team didn't win a match, but the experience would lead to success in 1994 on home soil. One of the faces of the team, the wild-looking defender Alexi Lalas, we spoke to the former national team member about the chances for the red, white, and blue in Brazil. I don't think the U.S. is getting out of the group, but uh, if we take your money, let's go to Vegas and put it on the U.S. getting out of the group, and I think you'll win some, uh, win some good money. When I look at this, uh, this group the U.S. is in, the U.S. is without a doubt an underdog. If for the U.S. to come out, it would definitely be a shock to a lot of people. You're looking at Ghana that kicked the U.S. out over the last couple of World Cups. You're looking at Portugal that has Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, and you're looking at Germany, which is an absolute juggernaut. But they're in that underdog role that they find very, very comfortable. They, the U.S. tends to play well and have as over the years when people have said nah, they, they don't have a chance, when there's low expectations, and they are certainly the underdog when it comes to this group. I, I can fathom a Landon donovan list World Cup team this summer. That's not a problem. But if you're going to make this cut, do it a couple years ago. Do it when Landon goes to Cambodia on his sabbatical. Do it when he falls out of love with soccer and get it over with. But don't bring him in in 2014 in May 
as part of the 30-man roster, and then tell me he's not one of the best 23 players playing, given what's happened over the last couple of years. That just that doesn't make sense. Having said that, look, life isn't fair and soccer isn't fair. And coaches make decisions not based on merit or history or form. They do it on personal preference. Everything is personal. And Jurgen Klinsmann gets paid a lot of money to make these big, bold decisions. And this is a big, bold decision because Landon Donovan, for my money, is the best American player ever to play the game. Yes, he's in the twilight of his career and not the player he was four years ago. But I believe that Landon Donovan is one of the best 23 players and would have helped the U.S. had he been named to that 23. My greatest personal World Cup memory has absolutely nothing to do with actually kicking the ball. In the summer of 1994, I was privileged to be part of the U.S. team uh, that played in the World Cup in the United States. And on July 4th, we finished our World Cup by losing to Brazil, the eventual champions. And we had a big after party, and our tournament and our adventure was over. And uh, I remember being at the bar, drowning my sorrows, and two gentlemen came up to me and said, hey, let me buy you a drink. And uh, for the next hour, I proceeded to have a wonderful conversation and do a bunch of tequila and Jaeger shots with a couple members of Metallica that shall remain nameless. One of the reasons why I'm talking to you right now is because of the summer of 94. And uh, I lived the power of what a World Cup can do to an individu individual. It changed my life, offered incredible opportunities on and off the soccer field. Uh, I, I milked it for all it was worth and had a wonderful time doing it. And all of us that were part of that team, guys like Kobe Jones and, and Paul Caligiuri, number one, it was about hair. Man, oh man, did we have hair. Every type of style that you could possibly imagine, whether it was Kobe Kobe's dreads or my grunge thing going on or uh, Paul Caligiuri with this just incredibly beautiful and sweet smelling hair. And it still smells good. Hey, Alexi had the little extra going on. But, <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend would like to know that, you know, Priscilla's my stylist and girlfriend and she's done a, now a new look 20 years later. No endorsement deals back then for maybe shampoo commercial? Well, I did. I had uh, Pert Plus. Oh, and, you did uh, have Pert yeah, Plus. Good. Look at it in, uh, you know, audition. Lexi before me, because maybe he would have got the gig. <laughs> Let's take a look at that fine hair. How fun was it, Paul, to be part of the 1994 squad? Oh, yeah, it was incredible. I mean, we rolled out these striped uniforms. We had the stars and stripes going on. There's my uh, yes. you know, clean-cut look. And, of course, you had Kobe Jones, as Lexi mentioned, with the dreadlocks. And then, you know, there you have Alexi Laws. I mean, that's just a whole new ambition right there. And, <laughs> you know, he, he was fierce. And I think the hair kind of represented how he played a little wild on the field. That's kind of cool that he mentioned Metallica, members of the Metallica group, uh, the rock group. Uh, uh, very, very proud of you guys. Uh, you guys were like rock stars. Yeah, in you know what? I was after the game. Uh, Robin Williams was trying to make me laugh. And huh. uh, he's one of the funniest guys on the planet. And I don't know. Maybe I should have been with Lexi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's great. Uh, everybody's so proud of that team. Now, the U.S. Opens World Cup play against Ghana tomorrow in Natal. Now, conditions may be poor for the match. The city is on high alert after 36 hours of nonstop rain sparked flooding and landslides in some districts. Now, Team USA manager Jurgen Klinsmann tweeted, quote, for the first time in Natal, we are seeing sunshine. Looking forward to today's official training in the amazing stadium here. Now, we saw Mexico and Cameroon play on a wet pitch. If it's a soggy field, Paul, who has the advantage, the U.S. or Ghana? Right, it'll definitely uh, be a little uh, wet, maybe. And um, I think, you know, having that uh, out the door and Clint Dempsey have played in Europe in countries that have, have a surface like that, maybe it is to our advantage where they get an opportunity and can skim or skip the ball off the surface to get a goal. Now, the Black Stars have knocked the Yanks out of the last two World Cups. Paul, convince me that this match will turn out differently. Well, I mean, Americans are just fierce, and, you know, we're not going to let Ghana do it three times in a row. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think that, you know, there's some guys on this team that were there in the past. We know the history, and, you know, in the back of the minds of Ghana, I mean, they can, can they really do it three times? I doubt it. Now, is this game against Ghana a must-win for the United States to advance to the knockout stage? I think it's a must-win for either. Not mathematically, but the fact that, you know, Portugal and Brazil, um, Germany are in the group. I think both countries know that this is a must-win for either country, and it's, it should be all-out soccer. Now, this uh, final 23-man roster played three send-off games before heading to Brazil. Paul, I know they had a training camp, but is 
that enough time and game action to gel as a unit to kind of create that chemistry? Well, I think the fact that they played Nigeria last, a, a World Cup opponent, really assimilates maybe how Ghana plays. Mm -hmm. But the uh, previous match, uh, Azerbaijan, I didn't really know who that would assimilate in Turkey. And it really doesn't represent maybe Portugal or Germany. But right. certainly you, you played against a World Cup opponent and it fared well. I mean, we won the game. and. Hopefully, it did prepare the fact that Josie Altador scores was important. Uh, speaking of Altador, recorded a hat trick against Bosnia on August 14, 2013. Didn't score again for either his club or the national team until eight days ago, finding the back of the net twice against Nigeria. Altador will most likely be the top scorer for the United States. So, Paul, does the U.S. success fall squarely on his shoulders? Not completely squarely, but okay. for sure there's a lot riding on Altador to be successful. I think Michael Bradley is the player that has to be the playmaker in the midfield to get Altador the ball, but definitely he's a goal-scoring threat, and we're relying on him. Is Altador Jurgen Klinsmann's best player? I would say Michael Bradley is the best okay. player. He has a lot more responsibilities up and down the field, side to side. But um, in terms of best player, he's probably the best striker. Now, Group G favorites, Germany and Portugal, will also score off tomorrow. The Germans and Brazil are tied with seven World Cup finals apiece. National Monskov won three World Cup titles. They are ranked second in the world. Paul, can the Germans win it all? In case you didn't know, that was, that's the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> I speak fluent German, actually. <laughs> but yeah, no, I did. Um, Portugal is a very good team. I mean, yeah. I thought last World Cup, they had the chance to defeat Spain and go on and win the World Cup. Mm -hmm. But Germany has been there. They're one of the most successful teams in all World Cups. The fact that they've been to more quarterfinals and semifinals and won World Cup champions, this is no different. They are a top favorite. All right, Portugal, number four in the world. Some might feel they are overrated. Are they in your estimation? I don't think so. I mean, yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo, one of the best players in the world. Anything and everything can happen. All right, who wins that match? I'm going to say Germany. Germany. I'll take Germany over Portugal. Okay. All right, there you heard it Run right there from the Hall of Fame. We're going to step aside for a moment. Still ahead, Kobe plays some soccer in Brazil. And can Mexico upset the host country? We will break down Eltry's game against Brazil coming up on the Sports Zone. We could say a lot about the most track tested IS ever, about its stiffer suspension. Precise steering and more rigid chassis. But the truth is, we don't have to. The experts have spoken. Now it's your move. Lease the 2014 IS250 for $349 a month for 27 months. See your Lexus dealer. Roosters? Everybody wants the biggest chicken breasts in fast food. And we mean everybody. <laughs> Introducing the Bacon and Swiss Big Chicken Sandwich, dusted in southern spices at Carl's Jr. At Knott's Berry Farm, we're committed to giving your family only the freshest fun. 100% natural fun that's organic to the park. Last year, we harvested a new boardwalk. This season, we've grown a fresh Camp Snoopy with three new rides. Because at Knott's Berry Farm, it's our job to make sure fun is fun. <laughs> Get your tickets today at Knott's.com. What can you experience in a seat? Inspiration. Great power. Exhilarating performance. He once again has created Lamar history. And once in a great while, all of the above. Take your seat in the incomparable Audi A8. Visit your local dealer to experience the Audi A8 today. <laughs> 